We're going back to basics because food is expensive, but for me, it's always about the little things. Taco meat wasn't something I grew up with. We had lomo all the time, maybe we had some chuck roast and ground meat, but taco meat wasn't something I learned about until I was into adulthood. To tell you the truth, I can't even tell you what taco meat is made of. What I do know is that it's usually pretty fatty and has a lot of gristly pieces, which is why I don't like to use it very often. My husband is an excellent cooker of meat, and he said he was going to make dinner, but no, I wanted to make it because I had an idea of a meal I wanted to make. My cousin said she was going to bring some spices from Texas and didn't, so I'm haphazardly adding whatever spices I think should go on this. My husband came in to help me with the lime. And if you've ever made tacos before, the real winner here is just making sure that you've salted your meat properly. Because I didn't grow up eating this food, a lot of this is just me trying to reenact really good restaurant recipes I've found over the years. And unfortunately for me, even though we've been going out to eat a lot, I've yet to find a better quality food than my own. Most of the time when we're going out to eat, it's because things are busy and we're just not organized. But on Saturday, I asked my husband what it was that he wanted to do. He hates going out to eat. I don't like spending the money. And none of us are really satisfied with paying $5 for mac and cheese for a kid who's only eating half the bowl. His response was simple. He wanted to eat at home. Now don't get it twisted. These are beans from a can because that's what's good for my mental health. Supremo sent me some chorizo last month and even though I don't like pork, I knew the kids would eat it just fine. And one of my favorite parts is that I was able to support my friend's new bakery that just opened up in Summit, which is just a stone's throw from my house. But also hits on the nostalgia aspect for my kids because of course we're picking up Bond too. Now I say this meal is incredibly intentional because it took a lot to get here. We didn't have the meat, we didn't make beans, we've been running around all weekend, and on Saturday morning when we had the conversation, we had to work for two hours to get through the pile of dishes. Now I'm no fool, my kids are probably not going to want to eat what I want to give them, so I make it easy and palatable. Simple flavors drenched in cheese and sour cream, always hit the spot for those guys. And while I usually try to make food that looks a lot nicer for you guys, I'm a mom, and a wife, and a small business owner, and somehow a part-time employee to my husband's photo booth business, and we don't always have time for pretty. I was recently telling a friend that I think that the internet is overwhelming. When I make videos, I do them because I love them. I do it because it's art to me, and sometimes I can get in my head about what it's supposed to look like, but at the end of the day, if you're just like me, I want you to feel comfortable here. So I'm probably going to clean my stove because it's been bothering me that I haven't had a chance to clean it. But I still want you to understand that life is incredibly difficult for most of us. And if your food doesn't look like someone's Instagram reel, I'm here to tell you that it shouldn't. Because this is what's real. All I want is to feed my kids. And all I want by showing you is for you to feel comfortable with who you are. I leave my stove dirty so you understand that you can still cook on a dirty stove. And while it took me two hours to do dishes with my husband on Saturday just to have this meal at nine o'clock on Sunday night, we are also looking for a dishwasher to make our lives easier. I love to support small businesses, but we can do that in a number of ways. And sometimes, these days, I might not be able to do it in a restaurant setting anymore. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to mom and pop shops and I'm still gonna show you the cheap chain restaurants too. But what we really need is to be able to know how to cook decent meals at home without the stress of trying to get it right every single time. This meal is gonna go a long way. It's more affordable and it tastes better than most restaurants. And for me personally, it's probably going to be for a reason that I didn't even think of until right this second. Because what I'm trying to do is make home food. And I just realized I'm the mom who does it. So go get your grisly taco meat. We have meals to make.